Hello guys, in uh, today's video, I will show you how to uh, set up uh, ESXi for um, FreeNAS and uh, install FreeNAS as a VM machine on uh, ESXi. I will show you how uh, you how to um, do the uh, path to mode uh, or VM uh, direct patch to uh, to uh, pass to the HPA controller to FreeNAS. So first step is uh, we need to enable the um, pass to mode. So we're gonna go uh, to the manage and hardware, and I'm gonna enable um, the um, pass to mode. So right here I have two identical um, LSI controllers. But I already know which one to enable. Uh, if you uh, run into the same issue that you have two uh, identical LSI controller and you have no idea which one is which, I actually have the video uh, to show you how to distinguish which LSI to enable. And if you accidentally uh, toggle pass through uh, for the wrong LSI, I have a, uh, one of the video in my channel actually show you how to disable the pass through mode. Uh, and with that, we're gonna go ahead and enable the um, pass through mode for the LSI. Notice that um, it said enable, but it uh, restart, so we have to restart the system. All right, we're gonna go ahead and reboot the host and reboot. All right, now that the system uh, rebooted, we're gonna log back into the ESXi. Alright, so the next step is uh, if you only uh, if you only have one uh, hard drive or one SSD or SD card that you run ESXi on, you can host your virtual machine on the VMFS uh, part partitions. You can host uh, your virtual machine in there. Uh, I do have uh, two SSD, so one at the uh, uh, to host uh, the ESXi uh, boot image and uh, the other one I'm gonna use is uh, to keep all my VM why I'm doing that uh, if anything happened to the VM ESXi uh, I still have my VM in the other um, hard drive so if anything go wrong during like update or whatever I mess up with ESXi I can just uh, reinstall uh, EXI and restore it from the backup and it won't affect my uh, virtual machine I just have to go in there and re-import uh, import it import it back into the virtual machine so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, create a new data data storage I'm gonna name it the uh, VMFS and uh, do not do not use uh, the full disk uh, if you use this on the uh, SSD that's gonna wash out your SSD really quick. Uh, so we're gonna do the custom. Um, so SSD by default, if it, uh, it have the unallocated uh, space, the SSD automatically yield that unallocated space uh, for over revisionings. So that's why we just gonna use a portion of the dry and not all of it. So that's gonna help to extend the life of the SSD, the lifespan of the SSD. Normally at uh, 10 to 20% is a good uh, over, over revision amount for the SSD. So I think I'm gonna do 120 gigabyte over revisioning. So I only use uh, 345 gigabyte and next finish all right now we got a vmfs the next step is uh, to uh, upload the free net image to the storage
I'm gonna create a new uh, directory called ASL. Yes, I, ASL. All right, and here I'm gonna upload the ASL in there. Freeness, freeness. Eleven forty two U two. All right, now that we have the free NAS ISO uploaded to the um, VM uh, storage, we go ahead and close it out. The next step is to create a virtual machine and create a new one. And next, and I gotta name it the uh, free NAS and uh, compatibility gonna be XXI647. Uh, you can uh, select the older version if you wanted to. Uh, guess OS family is gonna be uh, Otter. Interesting, you can actually run uh, Mac OS on here. Uh, guess OS versions. Uh, I'm gonna select uh, free BSD uh, 11 because um, free NAS 11 for two actually based on the underlying uh, operating system at the free uh, BSD 64 uh, bit. And next, I'm gonna select the second one for data storage. Uh, if you only have uh, one EXSI uh, boot and store it on the same device, you probably only have one option here. Cut I'm setting, uh, so this is the, the amount of uh, CPU memory and uh, virtual hard disk you're going to create for your virtual machine. Uh, this setting it totally depends on your uh, actual physical system. So choose the uh, setting that appropriate. Uh, for what your system is capable of. CPU, how do you give it 20? And uh, as always, you can always change the setting later on. I'm gonna give it a hundred, maybe 96 only. No, let's do 100. Maybe 120 gigabyte. And we're gonna go down to the setting. We're gonna research all the guest memory for the um, free NAS. So the way it works, if you don't research all the guest memory, it's gonna buffer. It's gonna let the, if it not utilize all the memory, it's gonna let all the system using that hmm, memory portions. But if you research the entire thing, then that hundred twenty gigabyte dedicated for free NAS only. All right, hard disk. I'm gonna eight gigabyte should be work five for free NAS OS, but uh, I have plenty of uh, of space on it, so I'm just gonna give it twenty gigabyte. And next one is the uh, network adapter. If you uh, pass through one of your network uh, adapter, then uh, you can select a room this menu. Uh, if not, by default, it's gonna using the um, VM network. Uh, that established by uh, ESXi and uh, CD DVD. We're gonna link it to the point it. We're gonna point it to the uh, ISO file. So now that it's right here, it says connected. After you install FreeNAS, uh, it by default gonna check up the connect uh, bottom right here. It automatically check up for you. So that uh, FreeNAS uh, it gonna boot into the OS instead of booting through the CD, but uh, I highly can recommend it. Uh, just go in there and remove it entirely uh, after you install uh, the free NAS. And next step, we're gonna add all the device. We need to add the uh, PCI uh, uh, SAT controller or HPA controllers so that free NAS uh, have a direct uh, patch to the um, SAT controller. And when I add it, it automatically select the LSI 230A because I only have one uh, LSI uh, that actually toggle pass through mode. And everything look good. Then we hit next. And everything good. We're gonna hit finish. All right. So now that we have uh, created the free NAS, the next step is to uh, power on the machine. 
it's gonna take a minute and a console is gonna pop up and you click double uh, click on the power on a couple times uh, it's gonna give you a the message say that uh, just an error message I forgot exactly what it say but that's the reason alright we're gonna open up the console Notice how everything load up uh, really, really quick compared to uh, if you're installing it on the uh, bare, bare metal, run Freenet on the bare metal. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to run on ESXi because I make a lot of tutorial and a lot of time I have to restart Freenet. And if you ever upgrade a um, server uh, uh, hard uh, hardware server rate uh, enterprise level, it's a pain to restart the server, it takes a long time and uh, for that reason I want to go with ESXi so every time I restart FreeNAS I don't have to wait for a long time for the, uh, for the server to reboot and we're going to go with the first option, install and upgrade, enter oh, I forgot I had to click on the console there you go and space to select the virtual disk, enter and it's going to be yes, enter again and create your root password And we're gonna go with the boot via BIOS uh, instead. Do not uh, use uh, the boot via UEFI, and you might run into some issue because uh, we're actually running it on a virtual machine. I'm not sure how it works on a virtual machine, but I'm, my guess is uh, it's not going to work on the virtual machine. So, best way to go with the latency BIOS. So when I create a virtual machine, one of the options is uh, Mac OS. I know that ESXi um, allow you to run the Mac OS servers or Mac OS uh, on. Uh, it has to be on the Mac certified hardware. Uh, if not, you're gonna violating a ESXi uh, um, software licensing, and uh, so is Apple term of use. There you go. That's all the the word I'm looking for. Uh, but I guess there, there's out there somebody gonna have a tutorial on how to run um, the Mac OS on the non uh, Apple hardware on the ESXi, and that's something I'm looking forward uh, to do. If you're interested, um, make sure that you uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna start making a lot of uh, video with the ESXi and FreeNAS on the ESXi. All right, now we then have a uh, free NAS installed it on the as a virtual machine. We hit OK, and we we gonna reboot the system. All right, so now that we have a free NAS installed it's on uh, EXXI and that the uh, web uh, user interface address, we're gonna go on the one nine two one six a four one four one eighty. And we're gonna go ahead and log in. And there you go. There you have it, guys. This is how you uh, install uh, FreeNAS on uh, as a virtual machine on ESXi. And uh, like always, if you think that the video is um, useful, don't forget to subscribe and like and uh, share with your friend. And uh, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.